Hi, I'm Paul Holland. I'm Managing Director of Fleetcore's UK fuel car business. Fleetcore is a worldwide leader in business payments. And here in the UK, we operate quite a large fuel car business under leading brands such as Allstar, Key Fuels and the Fuel Car Company. As the global pandemic started to take hold, we saw a significant fall in the price of fuel. And effectively, the oil price lost two thirds of its value by the end of March, plummeting to $22 a barrel. Where are we today? Today, the fuel price is around $63 a barrel. So it's recovered virtually all of that price loss that we saw over the last 12 months. And the key factors for that are around the recovery of certain economies such as China versus the impact of, of COVID. There has been some, some adverse weather, which has significantly disrupted production in the United States. And then there's some positivity around COVID vaccines for the future and how people expect the global economy to recover on the back of the challenges that we've experienced over the last 12 months. So if we look at where's the price today, the wholesale cost of fuel in the UK on a pence per litre basis is about 95 pence per litre. If we go back to September of last year and looked at where the market was forecasting the price to be in, in February of this year, it was around 87 pence, so a difference of about 8 p a litre. So the market wasn't expecting the significant increase of fuel price that we've seen over the past six months or so. In fact, if it wasn't for a material change in the, the strengthening of the pound sterling versus the US dollar, the impact would have been even greater. Pound has strengthened from what was an all time low in 2020 of $1.16 to around $1.39 in the current times. That in itself was offset a further seven pence increase what would have happened if the pound hadn't strengthened. So effectively, instead of a price today of 95 pence a litre, we could have been expecting to pay about one pound and two pence. So how does that compare with what the fleet would actually pay on the forecall? Well, we have a wholesale cost of currently around 95 pence per litre. You then have a retail margin that is effectively all of the on cost of getting the product to a gas station, and then obviously the retailers margins and so forth. And that's another typically eight, nine or 10 pence a litre, depending on the market conditions at that particular time. In addition to that, clearly there's VAT on top of the fuel price, but most businesses wouldn't pay VAT, they would claim that back. So you'd be looking at a, at a, at a price exclusive of VAT of maybe around one pound and five pence per litre. And how does this play out through the rest of 2021? Well, when we look at what the oil price is predicted to do, it's predicted to remain fairly flat, maybe fall slightly. So maybe we could see a slight reduction in the commodity cost. Retail margins are typically about on average where they've been over the last three or four years. So we're not expecting any material volatility in retail margins either. So all in all, if we look towards the end of the year, we could probably expect fuel prices to be round about the same level that we see today. Are there any other variables that could come into play? Well, clearly the government has got some challenges from a budgetary standpoint. Clearly there's a big drive to more environmentally friendly fuels. There is always the risk that in March, when we get the Chancellor's budget, we will get an increase in fuel duty. So that's another variable we should keep in the back of our minds. And if that comes, that will go straight on to the price of fuel, which we will pay. But that's obviously much more of an unknown. So in summary, three factors really to consider. First of all, the global commodity cost does appear to have stabilized somewhat, and we can expect the commodity cost to hold relatively true as we go through 2021. Secondly, the pound sterling is strengthening against the US dollar, and that is giving us some respite against what has been a rising fuel cost over the recent, uh, the recent months. So we've been able to mitigate some of those increases that we ordinarily would have seen. Perhaps, perhaps the most telling is clearly these COVID times are uncertain. The impacts over the last 12 months have been significant and who knows how they're going to play out in the time ahead. But certainly stay close to us. We'll give you as much insight as we're able to to the market and help you make the best decisions for keeping your fleet as efficient and as effective as possible.